Man, right. here we are at our campsite somewhere in the vicinity of Folkestone, Georgia. Warming up some barbecue so we can eat because we're starving to death. David putting up his tent. Smile, wave. There's a swamp, I guess, over there somewhere. Could be some watered fish in. We may have to try it here in a minute. And we got, yeah, never where you look around here, there's a there's a swamp of some sort. Anyhow, we got a barbecue grill, but we didn't bring anything to barbecue on it. I just brought barbecue. So anyway, so here we are. It's like 7.09 in the evening, Georgia time. We've been all over the world today. Our six-hour trip took us a little over 10 hours. So we'll have to figure that on the way back. I'll check back later. And now we are breaking camp. Here is Glendon taking the trash to the dumpster. Here is David packing up his gear. Hi, Dave. Here is where we were last night when owls were fighting and whippoorwills were whipping and trains were coming by and things that go bump in the night. We had no problem with gators or anything like that, so everybody survived. So this is our second installment. Here it is at 7.40, which is 8.40 their time, which means we got about 20 minutes to get over to the place, which only takes us about five minutes. We done had our camp sandwich. We done had our coffee. We're good to go. There goes David and Glendon to go get our permits. We're here at, there's our, our canoes, and we're here at the Oki Finoki Outfitters, where that they put the ca canoes and stuff in, I suppose. It's 8.15 in the morning time, 9.15 by their time. Here's some of the boats that they take people out on tours in. Cool little boats. Wouldn't mind having one of them there. You can take a lot of people fishing in one of these. Water looks a little greenish. A lot of Spanish moss in the trees. I'm just going to wait here until everybody gets back. And there he is, our first gator of the day. We just got in the water, and there he is. Just swimming along, like he's got good sense. He's about, I don't know, 20 feet from me there. Just moving along. Taking life easy. Cool, huh? I guess he's probably, he may be six feet long, head to tail, probably closer to five. We 
was expecting to see a, a gator or two. And there is one. I gotta get turned around. Okay, I got turned around. Now I'm back on the gator. Got your map. You got one? Yep. What are we gonna do with it? Give it to you. Oh. Hey, oh, so I'll, I will navigate. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to worry about the glasses. Hey, I'll be your navigator. I just wish I knew where we was right now. We're out here in the swamp with gators. Just never made it. I need to have brought some sort of tripod so I could set this on it while we're heading down. I'm watching you, man. Like you were saying last night, you know, don't get camera shy. That's right. You may cut a road for you. You should have brought a musical instrument, is what you should have done. Yeah, I could have brought my banjo and thrown it in the water. Look like Spartan. <laughs> yeah, you could play it. Dueling banjos while we was out there. You won't call anybody up. <laughs> yeah, better not, better not tempt fate. Dueling that fishing rod. Alrighty, that's where we're going. Uh, Glendon? Go. Um, which way we're going? Hold on. Oh, I see it. It says canoe trail and got an arrow. Oh, that might be it. Never mind. That might be it. Well, I guess that just goes over there where you get eaten or something. Yeah. If you get eaten, go this way. Yeah. How big was it? I was about a five footer. It'd been a meal for at least two days. <laughs> yeah. We would have been. Well. <laughs> Nah, he wouldn't. He's too small to mess with us unless we stay Yeah. Like they're not scavengers, are they? Well, pretty much. They prefer their food dead and rotting. Hey, where's your uh, shitty? It's in this big toad over here. You want to come get the map? I'll bring it. I can come over there to you. Well, let me cut. Yeah. Bring your litter back, slow down. Out going traffic. This way. If that don't look ominous, I don't know what does. Plenty of Spanish moss in the trees. Place is notorious for it. Uh, I do.
I guess that's some sort of overlook so that the kids don't dive out. Yeah. So much. Yeah. yeah, got another little gator over here that's laying up. Sunning. No, you're fine. Oh, gosh. That size of one looks like it came off. I don't want to get over here in the bushes and wind up with a gator in the boat or a copper headed rattle moccasin or something. You see the little gator? Ain't he cute? Oh crap, Ram X again. Ooh, it's just a light touch. <laughs> Well, push me on around. I got bees buzzing over here in the bushes. It is a slight concern. I don't know what kind of varmints we got down here. I guess that's where the water comes back in again. Yep. Well, there's just a total absence of current here. It's amazing. How's it going to be there? Here's some sort of violet. Hey, that's gator number three, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's three. Four counting the one that you've seen dive in. Where is he anyway? Oh. Got another squirrel on the tree over there. Well you know it's water's calm when you fart and it moves your canoe. Yeah. 